If you notice that Bobby is not working in the same way as usual, or repeatedly runs into a certain error, you may want to perform a checkup test to find out what is causing the issue. Bobby's remote can be used to test all of her sensors and electronic parts in the span of a few minutes. If Bobby does not produce the results as described during any of her tests, contact our support team for further assistance. To begin the checkup, make sure the side power button on Bobby is turned off. Bring Bobby near the remote. Press and hold the OK button on the remote while you switch Bobby's power back on. Continue holding the OK button. The buttons Go, Waffle, and Juice on Bobby's cover will start flashing. While the touch buttons are flashing, simultaneously press the Waffle and Juice buttons on Bobby's cover with the OK button on the remote still held down. When Bobby makes two beeping sounds, release the OK button and you will notice that the digits on the remote all become zeros. Bobby is now in test mode 0000. While in checkup mode, the three buttons on Bobby's cover stay on, and the five LED lights above the buttons flash sequentially. Remove Bobby's side brush before testing her floor detection sensors. Bobby's floor detection sensors are the first item tested when Bobby is put into test mode. In this test mode, numbers 1 through 4 located on top of the remote represent Bobby's four infrared floor detection sensors, and numbers 5 and 6 represent the two floor detection sensors located in Bobby's left and right wheels. With Bobby on the floor, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 should be underlined to show that Bobby's floor detection sensors are working. If you lift Bobby up, the lines under numbers 1 through 4 will disappear and new ones will show up underneath the numbers 5 and 6. This means that the left and right wheels are off the floor, and the floor detection sensors and wheel sensors are working properly. After testing the floor detection sensors, and while in test mode 0000, press left on the remote. The numbers 0001 will appear in the test mode indicator. The main four digit number on the screen indicates the firmware version of your Bobby. While in test mode 0001, press left on the remote. The number will change to 0002. In this mode, the main four digit number on the screen reads the voltage of Bobby's battery in millivolts. Under normal circumstances, this number ranges between 1400 and 1600. If the number on the screen shows as all zeros, it means Bobby's battery is not working or has a loose connection. Open the battery compartment and check the battery. After testing the floor detection sensors, press right on the remote. The number 0100 will appear on the test mode indicator. Use a piece of paper, a roll of paper towels, or a white flat surface to imitate a wall in front of Bobby. Drag it from the left side of the bumper around to the right side until you reach the power switch. Numbers 1 to 5 on the remote will become underlined one by one as you do this. Ignore the numbers on the large four digit number in the middle of the screen. To test Bobby's touch sensors, press on any of the small points on the left side of the bumper and the number 6 will be underlined. Do the same to the right side and the number 7 will be underlined. To find out how many times Bobby's battery has been charged, either manually or automatically, press right on the remote while in test mode 0100. The test mode indicator becomes 0200. In this mode, the main four digit number on the screen indicates the number of times Bobby's battery has been charged. Turn Bobby upside down and lay her on a flat surface. From test mode 0200, press right on the remote to enter test mode 0300. As soon as she enters test mode 0300, Bobby's wheels start to drive forward. Her brushes move and the vacuum fan starts to work. Digits 1 and 3 become underlined, indicating that both the left and right wheels are working. The main four digit number on the remote screen shows the current of Bobby's left wheel. A normal current ranges between 20 and 110. 
Press left on the remote to enter test mode 0301. Digits 1 and 3 will still be underlined. This time, the main four-digit number on the remote screen shows the current of Bobby's right wheel. A normal current ranges between 20 and 110. In test mode 0301, press left on the remote to enter test mode 0302. The main four-digit number on the remote screen shows the current of Bobby's main brush. A standard current for the brushes should be below 300. After testing the brush, press left on the remote again, and you will see the digits 0303 in the test mode indicator. The vacuum motor starts working, and the main four-digit number on the remote screen shows the current of the vacuum motor. A standard current range for the vacuum's motor is between 160 and 250 milliamps. The final part of the checkup tests Bobby's ability to charge. To begin this test, press right on the remote so that Bobby enters test mode 0400. The main four-digit number in the center of the remote screen should show all zeros when Bobby is not on her charging station. Place Bobby on the charging station and a number between 400 and 800 will appear in place of the zeros. When you are finished with the test, turn Bobby's side power button off to leave the checkup mode. When you switch it back on, Bobby will return to her normal working mode. For more information about Bobby's checkup test, visit the owner's corner on Bobby's website.